What's up, YouTube? It's your boy Next Gen Nail back with another review, back with another video. Today is just going to be kind of like a freestyle topic video. We have to talk about Modern Warfare 3, and if it's really that bad of a game, right? Uh, so, before I jump into that, I'm going to give you a quick history of my Call of Duty. Uh, I absolutely used to love Call of Duty back in the day. Um, I played the original Modern Warfare trilogy back on the 360. My favorite CODs to this day is a toss up between Black Ops 1 and Black Ops 2. After Black Ops 2, I'm going to be honest, I kind of fell back. I'm not one of those guys that rush out and buy Call of Duty every single year. So for those guys who buy Call of Duty every single year, uh, maybe this video is not for you. This video is more so of the casual person like me uh, who recently now have access to these Call of Duties via Game Pass. Shout out Xbox, shout out Microsoft without having to pay for a price. So maybe i'm a little biased because i didn't have to buy this maybe i'm a little biased because i haven't bought the last cod for the last 10 years and complain that it's the same shit every year but turn around and buys it again just like all the madden players i'm guilty of that just like all the 2k players i know a lot of people is guilty of that as well now for me i just find it funny that modern warfare 3 is the lowest rated uh call of duty or metacritic ever i definitely did not like call of duty ghosts back in the day and i personally feel like modern warfare 3 <laughs> is miles better than ghosts but you know uh, the xbox tax is a real legit thing so let's jump into it so the first thing i want to talk about is the campaign i actually enjoyed the campaign i think it was dope that they took a risk by opening up the sections and if you play on harder difficulties you can definitely drag out the length a little bit now yes the campaign is short about five to six hours but arguably every call of duty campaign i ever played was about seven to eight hours so yeah this is a little shorter than the other ones but you know i still think it's quality content there i think it was pretty fun i actually enjoyed it if i had to put a number on it i would say the campaign was a solid eight maybe 7.5 depending on who you are but i mean i enjoyed it you know the soap situation you know losing a homie sorry for the spoilers uh you should play it if some game has if you haven't already but i think the campaign was definitely really good it definitely pulled some heartstrings and i was actually kind of surprised by it yo so i enjoyed the campaign man hey but you know what i also enjoyed the call of duty vanguard campaign i thought that campaign was very fun uh actually vanguard is the last multiplayer so like i said i left off after black ops 2 but i gotta admit i did end up getting modern warfare 1 on sale a few years ago i enjoyed the heck out of that out of that single player campaign i was not a fan of the multiplayer i was not a fan of the maps it seemed like i just kept getting killed by jigsaw uh mass people <laughs> you know spawn location and spawn trapping and killing is a legit thing in call of duty has been for a very long time so i really wish they would fix that so we're gonna get to some of my problems but now i just want to give some of the praises right oh so I definitely enjoyed the campaign. I thought it was better than what a lot of these reviews said. And I said, hmm, I wonder if they just shitting on this campaign because, you know, it's Xbox now. They own it. I'm not sure. Uh, conspiracy theory hat. Put it on. Walk with me. You know how I do. So the next thing I want to talk about is multiplayer. I've been absolutely hooked to this multiplayer. So I'm not a fan of Warzone right i'm not a fan of warzone at all i love arena type shooters i love give me a map let me do what i do uh, that's the reason i love halo infinite so much amongst other games and i also have to say i have plenty of things without ever spending a dollar on the game you know it came to game pass i've been playing it's been plenty double weapon xp events since the game launched the game pass so i am now level 100 and 10 i believe and uh i have a lot of guns maxed out i actually enjoy the grind of leveling up guns to, to unlock attachments and unlock attachments for different guns and stuff like that it gives you an incentive to play these guns and not just go to the cheesiest guns that is now for new players that might be frustrating because you're gonna have a bunch of level 900 level 1000 people a lot of sweats right who's been playing the game and got a lot of the cheesy guns just maxed out but this is one of the few games or uh, shooters where i feel like I don't have to run a specific gun to be good and i know this might be a controversy take some people might not agree with it but i have not been running the cannon weapons for the most part i just find things that i like i haven't looked up one guy i know a lot of people do that what's the uh, meta weapons what's op i don't do that man and and i think shooters is funner when people don't always run to what's meta just pick something that you enjoy you know, I do that in Apex Legends. I do that in Battlefield. I do it in every shooter. Just pick a gun that you enjoy and have a good time, man. Stop looking up what's the best gun, what's the best uh, loadout. Stop trying to play the next man loadout because that's not going to guarantee you're going to have the next man game, right? 
So you might see the next man having a super sweaty loadout and he might have 50 kills. So now you go get that same loadout and you might end the game with 13 kills. So just play true to yourself, man. So back to what I was saying, the multiplayer is pretty fun. They do got a good plethora of maps. They have a good plethora of modes too. Uh, a lot of modes you know they got a bigger battle mode with like 32 versus 32 they have you know the 6v6 they got some 10v10 uh, mosh pits and stuff like that but like i said i really do enjoy the maps my only complaint about the maps is i don't seem to get this certain maps i would want enough like uh stash house you know i've been playing team deathmatch and kill confirm over the last you know two three weeks and it's like the only thing i've been i have not gotten stash house more than like maybe once or twice so that's very frustrating so yeah man the multiplayer has been very addictive i will say it is definitely some cheaters in there you can tell the skill based matchmaking be trying to kick in put you against sweats like i said i'm a level 50 i was a level 50 now i'm a level 100 but i was a low level guy going against level 800s and 900s and stuff and i don't complain man i just literally get good i sit up i lock in and i smoke yo a lot of the clips you're seeing in this video is of me just straight up smoking people you know dropping people uh, i deal with a lot of sweat balls but you know i believe i'm a sweat ball too i come from apex i'm an apex og i come from halo so i don't run from the smoke i run to the smoke so man i think the multiplayer is very solid i thought the campaign was very solid um i'm not a big fan of the cod hq i would love for all my call of duties to just be separate apps and stuff but you know it kind of grew on me the more i navigate around that menu because like i said i'm not a war zone guy so i never really uh gave the opportunity and effort to really lock into the hq to see how it works and maneuver around right but i will say after playing warzone i'm like huh this is not too shabby you know having black ops and, and modern warfare 3 black ops 6 and modern warfare 3 in the same app uh will be pretty dope in the future so i really wanted to jump into cod guys to get warmed up for black ops 6 i feel like this would be the best black ops in a very long time and it's day one with xbox game pass i'm super excited for the omni movement now guys i know this can't be a review without missing a whole mode but you have to forgive me uh i have spent probably two three days worth of play time over the last week or two uh, and it's really just been on multiplayer, yo. I have been so hooked. I haven't even touched zombies to the point where I'm like, maybe I'll just skip zombies as a whole for Modern Warfare 3 and just start fresh with Black Ops 6. You know, the new Black Ops trailers out and uh, the, the round base zombies is coming back. So I think that's very, very dope. I'm super excited for that. So is COD really as bad as everybody makes it seem? I don't think so, man. I have my complaints. It is some imbalancing. I know... Uh, spawn killing is a thing um you know the lack of letting us choose more than the variety of maps that they give you know you got 20 maps but i feel like i keep playing on the same five six maps you know um you know people some people might say it's kind of grindy with the guns but i feel like if you're out there killing stuff and you dropping stuff every game your guns and your account level will level up pretty quick i feel like you know it's enough free stuff to unlock like i said i have plenty of camos for my guns plenty of uh, a couple skins and stuff like that and i haven't spent a dime i haven't bought a battle pass or nothing like that and i probably won't buy a battle pass until um black ops 6 so i don't think it's as bad i definitely don't think modern warfare 3 should be a 56 metacritic and the reason i say the xbox tax is a legit thing guys as i end this video right is because i look at it like this people have been complaining about call of duty for years right some of the worst received call of duties by the community have 80s and 70s on metacritic right so as the community has been voicing their opinion for the last you know five six seven years when call of duties come out and it's not what they want you have the review outlets giving call of duty eights every year nines every year i'm looking at you ign tens every year eights sevens eight sevens right and then the moment a call of duty launches that's owned by xbox all of a sudden it's a 56 metacritic and the lowest rated call of duty of all time i'm gonna say it like this man i play a lot of shooters that's why we named our podcast the aim down sites podcast game pass daily channel make sure you check that out right but i play a lot of shooters man and certain games just it's nothing that's gonna feel like them, right uh nothing feels like halo as unique as halo is nothing feels like overwatch just a lot of hero shooters trying to copy that right nothing feels like apex legends to this day i would say nothing feels like apex legends as far as its smoothness the uh fidelity like everything about the game is really good now with all that being said it is nothing nothing out that feels like call of duty i have played x defiant 
they swung they miss it didn't land i've tried it it's just not it for me personally but nothing feels like call of duty man and you know before everybody come disliking this video and leaving hate comments and stuff i respect it it's cool man you know uh, voice your opinion uh, let your opinion be heard man if you like it cool let me know what you like about it we can maybe we can squad up and play together uh gamers heart tag is jay marley tv if you don't like it man just be respectful and let me know what you don't like you know let's have a respectful discussion but like i said i'm not one of the guys who buy call of duty every single year uh, i really enjoyed it i'm still enjoying it and i'm super excited for black ops 6 now people say the xbox tax is not a real thing we're gonna find out when black ops 6 drops the entire community is sold on black ops 6 from the leaks to you know the gameplay reveals and the gameplay trailers the zombie trailers everybody seems to be all in so if this game drops and the media start giving it low reviews and stuff like that that's going to be very telling but no matter what the game review it does not matter because it will be in game pass so when games come to game pass guess what guys we can judge games for ourselves i really enjoy modern warfare 3 and it seems like i'm not the only one enjoying it because it is the number two best-selling game of 2023 and it launched in November, and it's also the number two best-selling game of 2024. So, that's very telling. People say they hate COD so much, they say COD is so horrible, but yet it sells like hotcakes every year. Maybe you should shut up and stop hating on YouTube videos and in comments, and maybe you should vote with your wallet and stop buying the game. But, no matter what, I'm happy to be here. It's been your boy Next Year Nero. Make sure you like, make sure you subscribe, leave your boy a comment, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.